guys weird intro sorry for the sonic picture and it's very different so like my headphones were really buzzy once i was checking and the thing is is that the both sides of my headphones don't work just the microphone so i can't really check if it's buzzing or not so i'm technically recording this without my headphones and plus i was whispering a lot so yes i'm just here to warn you the video might have a lot of buzzing in it but I might remake it. I don't know. I don't know if the captions are going to be available because of the buzzing and the music. But I hope you guys enjoy. I'm actually making my own comic. I didn't upload earlier because I was on call and I was also texting a friend while drawing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next part. This is a new series, which is Dr. Robotnik Loses His Memory, X Listener. Bye. Okay, I like using the original picture of Dr. Robotnik because um, I find the, like some of the movie Robotnik fan art very realistic or like too cartoonish. Some of them even look like the Joker. But anyway, so after you accidentally got shot, um, Knuckles carried you back home and uh, Robotnik saw what he's done and decided to flee and right at that moment Sonic said oh you're not getting away with this Dr. Robotnik something like that he's just angry I don't feel like doing his voice let me just like try that again <clears throat> I probably need a sip of milk give me a second I have like chalky milk <clears throat> okay I think I think it's a little bit yeah let me see. My headphones are plugged in. Okay. Oh, you're not getting away with this, Robotnik. And then he like ends up hitting his ship and he says, Oh, curse you, Sonic. You know I didn't mean to pull the trigger. I'm never believing you. And then he just, he tries to flee, but then he ends up crashing. Boom. So I'm like getting this story over with so I can do his voice and the others. So... It's about a month later, he recovered, you recovered, and so, etc. He's just walking past, he doesn't look like he's like in evil uniform and anything, he just looks normal, like a normal person. And he sees you, like you're carrying groceries, and he doesn't remember you at all. But you have very little memory of him, since like you got shot, but you also hit his head on the way down. So he looked at you and said, Hmm, oh wow. You know what? They're very pretty. I wonder if they need help. Let me just, what if they don't? <sighs> Worth a shot. So he came up to you and asked, Hey, um, they, them, because not miss. Hey, uh, do you need any help carrying those? Um, they look like a heavy packet so let me just he picks them up <laughs> no problem um so could you guide the way and thank you for letting me help you <laughs> no problem i sound like young robotnik more like it so you took a close look at him and you realize it's robotnik and then you say dr robotnik and he says, mm-hmm, that's me. Do you know me from somewhere? And you say, not really, but aren't you supposed to be a bad guy? <sighs> you know, bad guys have their own lives too. And maybe Sonic doesn't know that, but I can be a nice guy outside that suit and machines, you know. That's how it is, but thanks for showing me the way. Please. Don't tell him that I helped you. He'll come after me. But it was nice meeting you. What's your name? And you said, uh, don't you remember? It's Listener. And he said, nice to meet you, Listener. I can't recall when we met, but thanks for telling me your name. I'm quote unquote Eggman slash Dr. Robotnik. Well, I'll see you soon, okay? I have a few things to get done. Bye bye. And he said in his head, 
Uh, why do you have to make things so awkward? It's worth a shot. But how do they know me? That's strange. I can't. I can't remember if we ever met. Huh. Maybe. Maybe Metal Sonic knows something. So he goes up to Metal Sonic and asks, who is this listener? And he just says, hmm, you don't have a listener in your list. And he said, exactly. Then how? Like, Metal Sonic was shut down, like, Knuckle shut him down when the battle was going on, so he doesn't remember either. And so, basically, um, he got a random ass message and he opened it up. Guess who it was? It was you. And you said, meet me at this cafe location and I'll tell you all about everything that happened. And you said, uh, okay. I'll try putting on my best looks. Who knows? Maybe somebody did fall in love with me. The man sounds thirsty. Oh man, I'm thirsty. Damn, that is some good cold milk. <laughs> so, he went to the cafe, and he, you wait, and he sat down, and he said, Oh, listener, it's just you. Well, why'd you bring me here? Well, that sounded like a whole different language. He said, why did you bring me here? Is there something you want to talk about? You explain what the heck happened and how you guys met. And he said, "What? I did that?" He's ba he basically has the mind when he wasn't such a bad guy kind of ish. He like lost fifty percent of his memory because he just bonked it on a huge log. So basically, he's half and half. He's a good guy slash bad guy. So he said, "I." I can't recall when I did such a thing. I'm, I'm so sorry. Is your wound healed up? I could give you a few meds and stuff. I, I, I can't repay you. I'm so sorry that I did such a thing. You probably would never forgive me, would you? If you're the type of person to forgive him, then you would. And he said, really? After all I did to you and the others? You're not even going to just say anything? Sonic usually would. But you're different. And I really like that. You're one of... You're probably one of the first... Pe people. One of the first ones to not... Just run away or... Avoid me. And... Thanks for that. I mean, I just feel different. And you, you're like, so what is it that made you go all good guy? And he said, what do you mean? I've always been a good fellow. Maybe I might be a little cuckoo in the head or something, but what do you mean by that? And then you realize after while you were while Knuckles was running with you home, you heard a big loud crash, and that was definitely Dr. Robotnik. And you said, "Oh no, you crashed, didn't you?" And he said, "What do you mean crash?" And he and you said, "Well, I know you went home and asked Metal Sonic if there was somebody named Listener on your list. Definitely, that day, I." I wasn't there to see it, but I'm pretty sure when you crashed after what happened, Metal Sonic retrieved you and healed you up, but you lost half of your memory. Robotnik, you're like one of the biggest villains here in Green Hills. And he says, what? I... I... Did I really just turn myself into a villain? I told myself that I would never. I would capture that hedgehog, but I wouldn't harm him. All I wanted was just a little bit of his power, and I could maybe make some cool adventures. But I never wanted to harm anybody. Strange, but... Anyway, to get the bad things out of the way, 
Would you like anything to eat or drink? It's all on me, by the way. You guys got your favorite things, and he said, Hmm, this place sure is nice. And the weather sure is too. You know what's better than the weather? A face just like yours. And then he just like his face got a little heated up and mm, romance. And you and you said, Thanks? You you were just confuzzled, confused. And he said, Well, no problem. Like, who wouldn't who wouldn't say such a beautiful thing about you, listener? You're like the most beautiful person I've ever met. Not that I'm being curvy or creepy or anything. Of course not. I respect your personal space. I'm just, I just feel like giving up compliments today. If that's okay. You accepted the compliments and it was time for both of you to go home. So you said goodbye and you said, Bye listener. I'll see you next time you ever want to talk or hang out. Bye bye now. He ended up actually giving one of those, um stickers of his, um, which is, you know, like, the Dr. Robotnik original sticker, which is basically his face, that one right there, um, so, you, he goes back home, which is his lab and stuff, and he says, ah, Little Metal, it was such a long day, and he said back to him, so how did it go? Was it a date? And he said, not really a date, but I can't believe I did such a thing. And then he explained it to Metal, and he said, I feel so bad for them. How can I not recall any of those things? They told me I crashed, but I don't really believe that. But I do have to believe them. But they're so pretty, so cute in a way. They really convinced me to falling in love with them. They didn't convince me. My heart did. So did my thoughts. <laughs> well, sure it's getting late, Metal. Here, let me just shut you down. He shut him down and then he's like, well, looks like it's just me, myself, and I. And that's all for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And... Turn on those notification bells so you'll never miss a video from me. By the way, I'm going live on Monday, um, midnight BR, which means Brazilian timing. We might play games, we, um, we might draw together again, I might show a little bit of my face. And that's it. Um, the songs I use will be in the description below, so will my Instagram and a little side note. Can we get to 2,000 subscribers? Maybe we can. I love you guys very much. Please don't rush on getting to 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate if we get there on our own pace, just like we did to 1,000. Mm. Thank you guys for all your hard work. I support you guys with all my heart. And next up is Pride Month. Um, the Pride Month version, like part two of the Pride Month thingy. <laughs> Bye. Love you guys.